Hello everyone, welcome to the start of my slightly modded, kinda like roleplay, let's play series on Skyrim PS4 Special Edition. To be honest, I don't exactly know what to call it, but I am trying something new. The mods I have active, and a brief written explanation of what I'm trying to do is in the description if you want to check those out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, hopefully you'll enjoy. I wake up with no memory of where I am and why I'm sitting in a carriage with three other dudes. I notice that one of the guys has been gagged and I immediately feel more uncomfortable. I notice all of our arms have been bound by rope. One of the guys notices that I am awake. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? He then says I committed a crime. And the group begins talking about where we're going and other law related things. I couldn't care less, so I close my eyes and go back to sleep. After a short ride, one of the people, who I later learned was called Rhinelock, told me we were stopping. That it was end of the line. I did not catch on to what he meant until we got out of the carriage. You've got to tell them. We Execution this is a for the crimes that I had no memory of. One, at a time. One of the prisoners pleaded and tried to run, You're not gonna kill me. which only confirmed that there was no escape. Like the Imperial what Hadvar noticed that I wasn't on the execution Forget list, the list. but the his block. superior sent me to the block By anyway. Orders, we began receiving our last rites by some priest, Blessings of the eight divines. but someone was too eager to die. They interrupted the prayer and stood near the block. He was put on his knees and the executioner raised the axe. I looked away in an attempt to miss the beheading, but I was stupid and looked away at the wrong time, just to look back and witness the beheading. I was then called to the block. As I looked up at the executioner, I had no fear as the game had just started, so I knew I wouldn't die. What do you see? I was right, and saved from death by a dragon. A dragon who made the weather slightly worse. The Imperials shouted immediately about getting people to safety, and I just stared at the floor for a few solid seconds. I get up and Ryloth tells me to follow him. So I do and we enter a tower. We begin making our way up the tower, either in hopes to gain the high ground or to end it together. I listen to Ryloth and leave him. I then join up with Hadra who convinces a child that he does not want to be roasted by the dragon. Hadvar advises me to stay with him if I want to stay alive, so I do just that. I listen to Hadvar, and it turns out he just saved my life. We continue running and I decide to fall over. I am then faced with a choice. I end up going with Hadvar. We get into the keep and find Looks we are like the only the ones there. Hadvar seems like to trust me and undoes the binds, there even offering go. me to take use some discarded around. gear. I am unsure why I may from. need such That'd things, but I take them anyway. Chests. Putting Imperial armor over my ragged cloth and finding a weapon. Hadvar decides that we need to keep moving and find way. a way out of the keep. We come across a room with two Stormcloak soldiers. Had far reasons with them. We come across a storeroom which had another two soldiers in there. Had far speaks to them while I gather supplies that I may need, and then we continue down to a torture room. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need it. After the fight, I took a shield and two books, 
and Hadvar asks if I can lockpick a cell, and it comes surprisingly natural to me, but that might just be because it was a novice lock. Shoot, take all my things, please. We go into a cave from a break in the keep's wall. We go down it for a bit until we enter a room with some more storm blocks. As usual, I stand around waiting for Hadvar to reason with everyone but I am somehow mistaken for an Imperium. I draw my weapon and shield to block the first attack and then follow up by attacking the Stormcloak, eventually taking my life for the first time in a memory. I do not dwell on this new achievement and I charge the two archers on the other side of the room. I beat down the first Stormcloak until he heals, but like Adbar, I grant no mercy, quickly running to the next person and cutting them down too. I sheath my weapon and follow Hadvar. I pull a lever and we enter a new section of the cave. The way we came collapsed, so we have no choice but to move forward. We find a room full of spiders, and we kill them all. I harvest all of the poison from the spiders in the hopes to sell it later. In a new section of cave, we see a big bear. Hadvar tells me to take the lead and suggests we sneak past it, but he then gives me a bow like he expected me to fight it. No. I sneak past it, and Hadvar follows. We then see the cave exit, so of course we exit the cave. Upon leaving, the dragon flies overhead and out of view. Hadvar tells me to head to Riverwood, where his uncle could give me some supplies. He then suggests that we split up and he starts running off. I ignore him and choose to follow him. As I follow him, he gives me an interesting proposition. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. I tell him that I will consider it, but in reality, I couldn't care less about this civil war. At least not at this moment. We come across some stones of power. Hadvar stops These and explains the what stones. they are. I pick the warrior stone, and he compliments my choice. Good. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Uncle Alvor, hello. I am invited okay, okay, inside Alvor's house. Will get As we walk to there, I hear that an old woman saw the dragon too. The person she was talking to did not believe her, and I do not blame him. Everyone enters the house, and I suddenly forget how doors work. After saving and reloading, I'm finally able to enter the house. I enter and have a seat at the table. Like Hadvar explains the dragon terror. situation this and even says that he would not have been alive if not for me. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. But His uncle then begins to talk to me we and asks if I can see the Yarl of Whiterun to send some troops. I accept the task and he gives me some supplies as well as some I wine for saving his nephew. I then take some money from his home. home. I try I the door of a no. random building no and enter it. No it turns out no the building is a basic. shop and the owner talks well, to someone about to a recent that, break in. Let's hear it. Trying not to look suspicious, I go up to him and see what I can buy. Reminder, I'm broke. I realise this is a good idea to sell him the spider venom. I ask what was stolen and he describes an old family heirloom in the shape of a golden claw. He asks if I could retrieve it from the group of thieves that took it. I say it's yes I will, bring my claw back. but what do I look like, some if noble hero? Thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, I then no leave, knowing for well that I will not so even try to get it. Yes. I so leave the shop know. and encounter the town Out drunkard. Way, like a good Samaritan, I regift him Elbow's wine, and then leave. 
eventually seeing an elf who has Sonic a problem with a bloke called Sven. Hilarious. They both love the same person. Could you, he asked could me you to do a dishonourable task, which I would not have done if he did not offer me the prospect perfect. of some archery training eventually. Good day. I give the letter to if the girl, probably ruining good. Sven's life, and gold, I get 25 gold for my troubles. I realise it's getting late, so I should start going to Whiterun. I go to the edge of Riverwood and decide to don the Imperial armour again, and I am immediately thankful for the decision moments later when I am attacked by two wolves on the road. Hello there, thanks for checking out my first Skyrim video. As stated in the intro, if you want to see the mods I'm using, or just want more detail on what I'm trying to do, feel free to look in the description. This is the end of the video now. Goodbye.